All right, episode a million of my body falling apart. I'm Jake Catro, and I'm gonna run the length of Europe. Welcome to Way Beyond. Who's gonna carry the boats? I'm going to run from the north of Norway to the south of Spain. We are all about the running community, and we want to inspire runners from all over ah! Europe to join us to start their Way Beyond journey. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is Way Beyond, and we are running Europe together. We're on day 21. Yesterday was wild. I was so in the zone the whole day. I was running probably a little faster than I should have been. You seem to be doing okay though. Yeah. This morning. Like I've seen you. You've seen me in worse mm. days. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Which is also crazy. Just gonna see how these first 20Ks go. Mm. The bag absolutely stinks. If there was a smellometer, it would be on smelly. Beep. <laughs> the first 10K has definitely been challenging. I might have gone a bit hard yesterday. <laughs> Every day is like this, like the, the morning is always challenging and then in the afternoon it like loosens off again. Good job, I have this weird as weird looking cheese toasty and hot chocolate. I just did like a 4.30 marathon, so I think I'm still working. But every time I stop, it is very difficult to get going again. So my quad has decided to hurt a lot in the last uh, 20 minutes. And it's more the quad than the knee itself. So I think it's more muscle related than uh, ligaments or joints. Uh, nightmare. It's annoying because I'm 50K in and walking out 20 kilometers is actually quite a long, quite a long walk. So I'm trying to force my body into re like forced recovery. Unless I've broken my leg, the idea to keep moving will be um, priority number one. Let me just walk it out for a half, like for 5K and then we'll see what the dealio is. We've had the chance to stay at a hotel last night, which has been like really good. Um, and we were hoping that like this pain was gonna go away. Um, and this morning I just did some runs in the car park and this pain is like still there now. Yeah, I'm not injured or anything, but it's making me really nervous that if I go for a run on this leg, like it could really damage like the entire project. And I think it's probably wise to take a day off. Tromheim is the next big stop. Uh, we're a day late. But as you said, like, people are still going to be there, right? Yeah. Yeah. My leg doesn't seem to be, like, completely healed after this rest day yesterday. So the plan is just walk today, uh, get the body warmed up, um, and then just see how it goes. All right, Mr. Bagman's back. All right, the leg is hanging on by a thread, uh, which I am able to walk still. So these boots are made for walking. Let me get in. These shoes aren't made for walking, they're made for <laughs> running. So they've cut a hole in the side of my oh, wow. sock. Yeah. It's not um, a good job what we did up here. Yeah, running is not happening today. Shit. Yeah, no, it's not happening. Uh, we're just gonna find a place to, to park up for the night. Um, yeah, we tried, um, but it's, 
I'm still in good spirits. It's just more like I want to protect this leg um, and I don't want it to become like a really big deal uh, later on. Mm. I think we are in Sasna, the area. We're actually supposed to be practically in Trumheim um, today, but it, it just is what it is. Today will be the same approach. I'm going to just walk until I feel like everything is okay or not okay, and then we'll decide from there. So, day 24, let's go. I don't know whether 70 is feasible today, but I certainly think like a marathon is. So I've been in countless uh, accidents. I've broken more than 10, 14 bones when I was little. I was very reckless. And the things I learned from being in and out of hospital when I was little is that the people who tended to really wallow in their injuries and problems tended to continue their injuries further than they should have been. Now I'm not saying that like people can't feel sorry for themselves when they're injured but I do think there's a point where you continue the problem when you are continuing it in your head. I do find myself coming to a point where I just go right the problem is now not an issue and it's time to move on. This looks fucking delicious. Oh it's so salty. Nice. Mmm. So I have now been kind of run walking for the last six hours, mostly walking. <laughs> I think a marathon in the bag for today. So it's positive energy right now. I think it was nice to move slower and absorb a bit more of the towns. Uh, that was cool. Like there wasn't so many like cars flying past me. But walking's not my thing. Like, I, I like to move faster than that. So it, it wasn't necessarily a great day for me mentally. I don't even want to know. What is this? <laughs> triple, triple chocolate. Ooh, shit! Ta da! So we're on day 25. Which actually means we're a third of the way. Damn, yeah. The ligaments behind both knees have literally been like balls. And these two days off seem to have actually gotten rid of those ones. So there is a win here somewhere. Um, and the body's fighting to repair itself. So at least there is some good news. And today I'm really hoping to run. That is the plan. It's a little chilly, but I'm really, really eager to get moving. Hi, keep motion. Yeah, time's flying. It is really going fast, especially with these days off. They are clicking by so quickly. Mm. Like van life is just whizzing by, you know. Ooh. Thank God for my left leg. My right leg is not doing nothing. Yeah, my leg is fucked. I just tried to like, kind of, more forcefully go through it just now and it was like absolutely not yeah it's not this is not like a mind over matter situation i think i'm potentially injured like properly
I'm sorry, mate. All right. So we have driven to the next town, which I think is called like Lavango or something. Um, we're basically going to go and try and find a physiotherapist and we're just going to pull up there and just say like, can you help us? Um, I think this is part of the way beyond running Europe together story um, and we're hoping that um, the story will be inspiring enough for them to help us and honestly we're just going to walk directly in there. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> that's it there, right? The green one. I'm just going to go in there and ask. With your uniform? Right? With my uniform. Let's see if the flag flag works. And a limp. A bit like this. Help me. I'm constantly mind blown by the generosity of people trying to help. Like individuals who are trying to put themselves out there for like bigger causes and bigger things. Um, um, and we're just going to stay put in Lavanga until this leg is fixed and sorted out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> she was like, where are you going to be? And I was like, I'm literally going to be outside your, <laughs> outside the car park. We've been chatting to this guy on Instagram um, who said he wanted to run with us a couple of days ago. And now that we're in this town, Lavanga, um, he's actually just offered for us to stay um, at his kind of house office. Yeah. The, the welcome really, really feels, feels great. Just a bit of sausage at night. <laughs> We're um, back at the physio this morning, but it's really good to get some more expert advice um, on what's going on with my leg. So I think it's kind of crazy, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Not everyone, of course, is ready to run that amount in that period of time yeah. and it's also pretty good that you listen to your body when it's telling you that maybe it's enough so mm -hmm. i think you're going to be very sore when you're done but <laughs> i think maybe possible yeah Ooh, this is sensitive today what i think it is is that you have probably some tears as well when we are so active and mm. i mean you're resting or you're watching for your food and all that stuff but it, there occurs some micro damage to the muscles. Mm -hmm. So probably it's that, and just with a little bit of rest and working and giving time to the body to heal, mm, it's going to be fine. Mm. So we are driving back to where we left off um, a couple of days ago. Um, it feels a bit weird to drive backwards because obviously we really want to move forwards, but we're trying to hold together that um, start finish line as much as we can. I, I obviously put the time pressure on myself to complete this mission in a certain time. And it doesn't really matter like when I finish, but it's like I set myself a standard and I hold myself to that, you know? So I just, I can't keep taking the time off, you know? Everything's a mystery until you try and then You'll find out once you try, right? All right, let's fucking do this. You got this. I think I'm just gonna take this day as every other day, which is start with a walk, and then hopefully the run will come soon after. So far, so good. Sick. Whoa, we have a join up. Nice, oh, oh. good to see you. Why did you help us? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I think it is an awesome thing that you're doing. For good cost. Uh, I, I think it's just awesome. Nice. I, I had to join. Let's go. Oh, let's go! 
Dude, he How went uh, the longest run. 15. 15? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Amazing. My furthest this far. Okay. It started one and a half month ago. You look chill. Oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> look Thank chill. you. Good luck. Thanks for having us. Take care of that leg, man. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Don't push it too far. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to take that really strong, um, those pills that Paula gave me. Mm. And I'm just going to keep going. New joiner. We met in Tromso last week. Then there was a couple who we met in Tromso on another rest day that we had. And they said, hey, like after our holiday on our way home, if we see you, we'll run with you. And guess what? They joined us. So yeah, already an epic day. So how far did we run? Uh, 5K. 5K. And then we're going to pass on the baton. And how long are we going for? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sydney from Sydney. Switzerland. Oh. <laughs> we looked at the GPS and tracked you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Norwegian, we say it. How do we say it? Sydney. Yes. The first two female runner. We're around 85 kilometers from Trondheim. And by now, the schedule would have been that we're on our way to Oslo by now. Do you know where we are? No idea. <laughs> we like... <laughs> we are like... in the farmlands somewhere. Like this is the main road. It's almost six. And I've, I've almost gone for 50K, so we, we're getting on. Europe's biggest walk. Just posted a vid uh, picture about my Garmin not charging as I'm going uh, and I posted it online and crazily a local saw my post and he said let me charge my own watch and let me drive over to you and give you a cable so that you can charge yours. Mate, What's hey, up? you have got to be joking. <laughs> nice, thank you so much. <sighs> How's the day going? He's here! <laughs> the cable. Mate, fucking hell. I can't believe it, and honestly. Banana. And a banana. If, and water if you uh, I'm good with water, thank <laughs> you so much. It feels like what I'm doing is waiting for a fucking miracle to happen. Mm. And tomorrow, my leg's gonna be fine. But. I don't think no. that's gonna happen. Okay. What would a week in Trondheim look like? Mm. I hate to say it, mate, but like, I just don't know whether this is like sustainable. It's not like we've said we're gonna run across Europe in 80 days. We didn't say that. We just mm. said we're running Europe together. That's our mission. Mm. We didn't say we're fucking walking Europe together. Mm. I think we're gonna have to take a full week off. It is a bit disappointing. Um, I mean, not so much that we're taking time off, it's just that we more than likely, like, won't finish together because I only have 90 days in Europe because of my visa and that changes things. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck day, day it is. We've been searching around Trondheim. It looks like every single square meter of this place is forbidden to park. So we've been looking around and we found a rock. Everything was easy. Then everyone would be able to do this kind of adventure. But the, the fact is, is that this is hard and injuries come and to navigate an injury is also a part of being able to complete something as big as running across Europe. Pizza! <laughs> Any connections that we have or have made or have on Instagram, we would just went with the approach of, yes, let's meet up with people. 
Roy and I have no idea where we're going. We don't know who we're staying with. We don't even know what the house looks like, um, but we're on our way there. <laughs> From the outside it looks very big, the inside is not that Someone big. who <laughs> actually followed our journey from the very beginning, who found us on Instagram, uh, has offered to let us hang out in her house and we stayed here and we've met her dog and um, actually it's just so nice. So yeah, we're constantly being amazed by the generosity of the people here. Uh, I think in general I'm really like uh, amazed by long distance projects, so I just like to follow this online. And also I've been traveling a lot myself and then I just know how amazing it is to have a warm shower <laughs> and I could just not imagine you guys running every day and sleeping in the van so I was like if there's something I can do then uh, that would be really nice. Nice. <laughs> Home cooked food. <laughs> the best strategy I can come up with is to do nothing. Like literally don't move, like allow the muscle to recover as much as possible. A lot easier. Another engine powering you on the run. But we just want to make sure it's like really strong before we go. Because even a week is still, it's not quite like mm. healing time, you mm. know? All right, team. This is the plan. So the leg is feeling good. I've had some time off. The run restarts, let's go. Taking the time off has really helped. Um, so I'm so glad that everyone's had my back and wished me good luck. Um, yeah, we restart on Friday and uh, let's hope everything goes well from there. So that was a week of injury. Obviously, we have no idea how this project's gonna go and things are always a surprise. But the key here is to try. Try and solve the problem as it comes and hopefully we'll be back on the road in no time. Like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week.